Well, today we begin looking at how to find the volume. Whoa, sorry about that. That always happens, doesn't it? The volume of a solid of revolution. So in other words, it's a three-dimensional solid that can be revolved around a vertical revolution, sorry, or horizontal line. And, and this method, what we are going to do is we are going to take slices that are circles and find the area of the circle and then integrate. So I'm going to give you some hints on the homework that was assigned tonight so you can kind of check your work. Um, first of all, for every problem, you must always, first of all, draw a diagram. That means you need to draw a graph of the functions and then identify the region that is being discussed. The second thing I need to see on every problem is you need to calculate the volume of one size calculate volume of one slice. So show that work. And then the third thing I should see is the setup of the integral. Okay? And then the fourth part is then the answer. Okay? I want to see all four steps for every problem. So on the first problem, problem number one, I'm going to give you the answer so you can check your work. The exact answer for part A is 96 over 5 pi. Um, if you use your calculator to approximate it, it would be 60.312. So that's units cubed, because it's volume. Now remember, for this problem, I need to see all four things. I don't want you just writing an answer. I need to see a diagram. I need to show your work for calculating the volume, a slice, and a setup, and an answer. For part B, the approximation is 258.508 units cubed. I believe the exact approximation, the exact value was 576 over 7 pi, okay? Um, now, um, problem number two, whoops, need to go back to the next one and just slide down. So for problem two, um, let's see, the correct answer for this will be C. So do your setup, do your diagram, and see if you get that correct answer. And for problem three, um, on this problem, I'm going to help you set this up a little bit. First of all, notice that we have an ellipse, x squared plus 9y squared equals 9. Well, we know that if we divide everything by 9, we get x squared over 3 squared plus y squared over 1, and then divide by 9 is 1. So for our ellipse, we, if you remember from Algebra 2, that it has a horizontal stretch of 3 and then a vertical stretch of 1. So our diagram looks something like that, okay? So we can see our lower limits and upper limits are negative 3 to positive 3. Um, now, when we find the volume of a slice, we know that it's going to be par, pi, large radius, r, squared, and then in terms of dx. So if I were to draw my slice in here, so we can see the slice in there, and then we're going to revolve that about the x-axis, okay? Now, seeing that, I need it in terms of x. So I need to rewrite this function so it's in terms of x. So doing that, then, I need to solve for y. So I would get 9y squared is equal to 9 minus x squared. Divide by 9, y squared equals 1 minus x squared over 9. And then take the square root. So I end up with 1 minus 1 ninth square root of x squared. So when I'm finding the volume then, I'm going to substitute that function for large r radius. So I kind of got you started so you can finish that problem off. Make sure you show the setup and the work, and then I'll let you know the answer in class since I helped you with that so much. Now moving on to problem number four. Um, they give us the diagram, which is nice, but let's label this diagram. So we know that this is the y equals 6 function, and we know that this is y equals 2 radical x, and, um, and then we've got the ordered pair 9, 6. So we have to first find the area of the region R. So we know to find area between two curves, we're going to take the integral of the lower limit to the upper limit and subtract the upper function minus the lower function. Um, now you'll do that, and you should be able to work that out by hand without a calculator, and double check your answer should be 18 units squared. Make sure you show the setup and your work. Now, for part B, they say, right, but do not evaluate an integral that gives the volume of this. Now, remember, when you're finding a volume, you want to draw a representative slice. 
and we're going to be rotating around the y equals 6. So if my slice is here, I'm going to take that and I'm going to rotate that then around the line y equals x. So we know that volume equals pi large r squared in terms of x, right? So for this problem then, you're going to have to determine what is the height of that rectangle, that disk I've sliced there, okay? And then for part c, so now what we're going to do is we are told that we're going from 0 to 6, okay? And it's going to be a cross-section, and it's going to be perpendicular to the y-axis, and we're going to be using rectangles, okay? And then the height is three times the length. Wow, lots of information going on here. So if I go back to look at this here, I'm actually going to be, whoops, excuse me, oh, go away. I'm going to be building rectangles in this region, okay? And we are going to be perpendicular to the y-axis, okay? So perpendicular to the y-axis then, we need to have everything in terms of y, okay? So that means then, when I look at the area for, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm writing it in the wrong space. Let me move back down to C. So the area of a rectangle we know is base times height. And they tell me that we have base, and then its height is going to be three times the base. Well, the base of our rectangles, we're going to subtract the far right function from the far left function, and so forth. Now, we're told that y equals 2 radical x. So we have to solve this in terms of x. So we get 1 half y equals the square root of x, square both sides. So then we end up with 1 fourth y squared is equal to x. So that means then the base of my rectangles is 1 fourth y squared. And then we're going to have to multiply that 3 times 1 fourth y squared. Okay, does that make sense? So now you've got the area of your rectangle, and then you're going to have to integrate that from 0 to 6. Okay, and then your last hint for question number 5. So we're given a region, and you need to find the re area of the region. I'll tell you the decimal approximation so you can check your work. 6.817. Now you're also, for part B, going to find the volume of a salarated generated when it's revolved about the line y equals x, okay? y equals 6, excuse me. So we're going to take it and we're going to revolve it around y equals 6. So we have to go, the volume is going to equal pi large r squared, okay, and it's respect to x, okay? So I think you know to take the upper function minus the lower function and square it. Now just so you can check your work, your decimal approximation should be 82.519. And then part C, you can see that we're reviewing all of our stuff because here we're finding the area between two curves. Here we're finding the volume of a solid. And now we're going to find the volume if you're given a base and then you're given a cross section, okay? Now for this cross section, we're going to use squares, which we like because we know that the area of a square is just side squared. So you have to find the length of the side, which would be the upper function minus the lower function, and then integrate it from 0 to 2. So just to let you know, your approximate decimal solution should be 26.267 units squared. Now make sure you show the setup and the work for all of these problems, and this should help you out.